Good evening, my name is Larry, and I am addicted to fishing. It all started about two years ago when my wife and I decided to go fishing for the first time. So we actually went to Walmart and just got a cheap rod and reel combo and just decided to go fishing right there and then, you know. Tossed my first line in and I ended up catching a 41 red, uh, 40, 41 inch red drum. At the time we weren't sure what it was, but I, after researching, I found that they were called red drum or red fish. Um, after that day, I just knew that fishing was my favorite thing to do because I was so addicted to fishing and catching those red drums. So ever since that day, if anywhere that there's water, you know my fishing line is on it. Doesn't matter if it was in the bridge, water, beach, docks, side of the road with a little bit of body of water, it didn't matter. There's water, my fishing line is in it for sure. Um, and uh, another thing is that it didn't have to uh, just be outside. Uh, when I get home, I you know, would force my wife to watch fishing related shows such as uh, River Monsters and Wicked Tuna. Um, also, uh, since nowadays the music kind of sucks, they all, they're just ho horrible. Uh, my wife kind of finds it weird, but uh, I like listening to my uh, reel or the reel screaming when you get a big fish. If you've been fishing before, you know what I'm talking about. When you catch a really big fish on your line, your reel just screams and cries. And so instead of music, I find that quite entertaining. And I would just use, put it on my phone and just listen to it all night till I go to sleep. Um, my wife actually finds that weird, but I know I just, I just love that sound. Of uh, so addicted to fishing that it kind of I kind of ruined my marriage a little bit because we just go fishing every day you know she doesn't really get to do anything she's always there with me because I don't like going alone so um, you know she's there just sitting while I'm having so much fun fishing so my wife just told me that it's just difficult because I apparently I don't even have to be awake to go fishing that I actually wake her up in the middle of the night because I'll, I'll be fishing in my sleep. It's kind of weird, but you know, it's, it's a horrible thing when you're waking up your wife because you're fishing in your sleep. And you know, you've heard of people snoring, but you've never heard of somebody fishing in their sleep, which I'm doing. Um, so that is why I'm trying to quit because I, you know, I'm trying to do it for my family and my wife. Uh, I've tried a couple of things, you know, I've tried the pills, I've tried the injections, I've tried, you know, the chewing of gum. Nothing worked until one day my wife just said, hey, Larry, why don't you just throw away your fishing pole? Simple as simple as it sounds, it, I never thought about that, which it was such a great idea because without a pole, how am I supposed to go fishing? So um, she actually ended up throwing it in the garbage can and, and uh, the next day somebody else took it because it was a good pole and spent money on it. So so now, you know, that I don't have a pole that, that fixed it for me. And I'm really glad because uh, I'm actually able to, you know, hang out with my family now and, you know, hang out with my wife. and. I'm glad that I was fishing before, but it's just time to quit. And I'm glad that I did, because now I can have my life back. Um, so that's my story, and thank you all for watching it, and I hope you guys learned something from it.